Hi everyone and Merry Christmas. Okay, I may be a week or so early, but it's hard not to get into the spirit of Christmas this time of year. As we're all running around scrambling for Christmas gifts, amidst all of the supply chain shortages and watching our credit card bills rack up like never before, let's try and remember the less fortunate. I personally made donations to the Los Angeles Mission and the LA Food Bank. Other great charities include Samaritan's Purse and St. Jude's. Uh, a little goes a long way in this holiday season. Looking at the numbers as we round out this year, single family home sales have been solidly higher with appreciation due to supply and demand compounded with monetary induced inflation has buyers chasing properties. Uh, mortgage rates have remained low while the Fed continues its quantitative easing and at the same time, they're monetizing the current administration's spending spree like a bunch of drunken sailors on shore leave. Angelinos continue to gobble up single-family homes as fast as they hit the market, but leaving the big turkeys alone. After leaving the leftovers in the fridge for a little longer, the median home price did slip to $880,000 for the month of December. As for condos, just like the Thanksgiving Day nap, Buyers snoozed and condo sales continue to remain low while median prices rose slightly to $610,000. Let's take a closer look at the Los Angeles numbers before getting into the national market, but don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. All right, Los Angeles numbers. As we are looking at the number of active listings, pending sales, and closed sales are all down but they are remaining pretty robust as far as sales are concerned, uh, only slightly down from previous years. As for the median home price, as I previously mentioned, $880,000 is the current median home price with an average price per square foot of $636 per square foot. Average home days on market is 23 days. As for condo prices, Active listings continue to remain low, uh, around 2,000 active listings currently, and the pending sales is uh, somewhere around 745, with the number of closed sales uh, just over 1,000. The median price for condos is around 610,000. The average price per square foot is $587 per square foot, and the average days on market is roughly 28 days. Now, if you were just looking at GDP numbers, it would seem like everything was doing well. However, a closer look at the M2 money supply, or the amount of dollars in the economy, that's the red line, demonstrates the inflation we are experiencing right now as the federal government continues to print money. We are seeing a flattening of the inverse yield curve, which has been a classic indicator of impending recession, but it isn't there yet. The inverse yield curve is the maturity rate of the 10-year minus the 2-year. So when it goes negative, it is historically forecast as a recession. Bond sales remain constant, but as prices move down, expect for a demand for a greater yield. I would encourage you to check out the latest inflation update to gain a better understanding of inflation, the costs, and how you can protect yourself. You can click the link above or below. As we look at the unemployment picture, the nationwide unemployment rate sits at 4.2%. While the labor force stays below the pre-pandemic levels and the number of people leaving the workforce stays high. When we look at the nationwide unemployment map, we can see that the blue states have the highest unemployment rate. The LA area unemployment rate is 7.3% in the month of October. There's usually a lag or so uh, before the current numbers catch up. Mortgage rates have risen slightly to 3.1%. The expectation by the fourth quarter of 2022 is rates to rise to 3.7% on average. Home price increases are expected to moderate over the next year to an average of 5.1% appreciation. Home sales are expected to remain robust, continuing to exceed the 6.5 million homes sold in 2020. This is largely due to a lack of supply and it's continuing to drive prices higher. We are in the seller's market and the, as the months of inventory of homes for sale continues to remain below that six to seven months supply for a neutral market. Uh, the current inventories remain at historic lows. This map shows all of the weak seller traffic or number of homes being listed across the US. 
the average days on market remains below 30 days on market. And as for foreclosure and forbearance, with the lack of supply and the number of homes that are distressed, sales still remains well below 1% of total homes sold. Well, that is the December monthly market update. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm trying to keep it very short and very brief. I wish that you and your family and your friends and loved ones all have a Merry Christmas, and we look forward to seeing you in the new year.